you get confused, young buck? I have. I'm, I'm just confused with that. Looks like you're having fun, buddy. I can honestly say that I hate this truck. It's just the, the Achilles heel of my life because it never <coughs> works right. Oh, yeah, this is a vlog because I don't want this to be an actual episode. This isn't reviving the race truck. This is how is today gonna go? It's gonna be full of negativity, maybe. And or positivity. Ties. And zip ties. We won't show the zip ties just yet, unless it works. Then we'll show the zip ties. So everybody loves a nice zip tie moment of the day. So what's uh What's behind all this? Because uh, there's actually never been a video on the channel about this thing. Oh, we'll go to the engine first. The engine I've had since I was probably 16 years old, and it is a 347 stroker with a scat crank, uh, scat rods, forged uh, head pistons. It's uh, got Flowmaster headers on it, got a little rock, RPM air gap. Right now it has Holly Sniper EFI, a magnetic pickup MSD distributor, you know, MSD 6AL box. We're just gonna say a lot of money in this, just the power plant right here. Then you move to right behind the engine. Transmission is a T56 Magnum. What you uh, would know about that is those were actually put in Don Vipers and it actually has a Viper stamped on the tail shaft of the housing. Now they do make kits for Fox bodies, which is what this kit is from. It's uh, basically an adapter, uh, well, it's an adapter bell housing, an adapter flex plate, and then it has the clutch and everything. Now, <laughs> the story behind the truck. Basically, this engine was in one of my previous vehicles. It was a 1982 Mercury Capri. That we need to get some videos. That we need to get some videos of because the guy has it all together now. And I tore the engine out of it and so I traded roller for roller. I'm more of an old school kind of guy, but I did like that Capri. It was a very, it was a very neat car. It was basically my second car I ever bought. So I traded it because I swear, I swore that that car was cursed. I never had anything but problems with it. Now we fast forward a couple years. I had this all together once before. The whole front end, everything was perfect, ready to go out of the shop. Had her in reverse, I was backing out. For some reason, the throttle stuck and the, the carb stud, this big long son of a monkey, fell down inside the engine block and bent rod three. Q engine comes out, gets rebuilt again with only about probably 100 miles on it. I go ahead, you know what, I say, yeah, I'm gonna spend some money because I kinda want this truck to be nice. So as you see, this is brand new inner fenders that have been shaved have been all the holes walled in, Bondo work done, has brand new front fenders, a brand new radiator support, has, uh, this is a 78 truck, but it has a 73 grill on it because I like it better. I basically bought tons and tons of part, uh, parts for this truck because I wanted to do it right. So I took my time and did that. So then we come to the second coming of the, uh, the truck. As you see it now, through the, uh, through the engine in it, basically it's just been sitting because it's just, it's like voodoo. The thing is my worst enemy because something always goes wrong. And we're here today because I'm trying to stop myself from going and buying something I, well, I don't need, but I want. So I'm, we're trying to get this. Just tell a little bit about that. Well, it might not happen and it might happen. But depending on how today goes, this either goes up for sale and gets parted out if something else bad happens or I keep it and I kind of pushed myself back on the plan. But kind of a vehicle that I've always kind of had the plan for is it's a, right now it's a 2020 F-150 short bed single cab, which is speaking my language already. It has a 5.0 and it's four wheel drive. 
Now, and it's I've a 10 speed. And it's 10 speed automatic. And the backstory on that is ever since I had my white S550, I've always wanted to do a Coyote pickup, and especially a four wheel drive, because those are just, you know, that's just gonna be an insane project in itself. So you kind of you fast forward a little bit. I wanted the Bronco because it was all wheel drive and I kind of like going off-roading. But the more and more I think about it, I'm kind of like, I don't know if I want to push that 2.7 to the moon, especially if I'm paying, let's say $48,000 for it. Now the truck I found online or found very close to Alex and I is only 32,000, which, well, that's a lot for a normal anybody, but it's, it is still a lot, but Less than it's, the it's affordable. And especially what I want to do to it, we'll say push boost into it and make a couple couple hundred more horse, I think it'd be well worth the price. And it's kind of different. It's not a Mustang, it's not a Challenger, it's not a Corvette. It's its, its own it's its own entity. That being said, it's that's what I'm this is holding me back from buying. Now nothing holds me back from anything. If this goes wrong, I sell it. Although I have I think the total bill on this is about fifteen thousand dollars. And it still looks like butt. But I have fifteen thousand dollars into it, and it will go up for sale for six, and then I'll be done. We had another problem happen, but I'm not going to talk about that because it's embarrassing, and uh, it was my own fault, and I don't want to talk about it. We're just going to hope hope that the EFI still works after what happened. Getting there. It is. Turn off all that fuel that was in the intake. Now we can this. Let's just push it. If this thing takes off randomly, some yeah, fucking fails, we're gonna go straight into something I actually like. Yeah. Yeah. 
compared to the we have two uh, very different vehicles. One you sit very far down, on this one you sit very far up. <laughs> Definitely need the extension. Ask Derek Hahn for one. Is that what I think it was? The golf cover leaks like a bastard. Golf cover. Huh. Just this guy. Yep. Are they even like bolted down at all? What do you mean? Because this one doesn't have it. Oh, well. Yep. That's typical Sean. Yeah, that's just. Oh, we are you even leaking anymore? Just need to seal up. I guess. <laughs> or we don't have any left. It's over full. No, it's over full. That's good on the crankcase. It was f***ing pulling though, Jesus. Yeah, that thing's fun as f***. It pulls like a bastard. Battery? Yeah, it must be. That's our little segment on uh, this truck. You may never ever see it again. This is just a, a holdover till we get on the wagon. Well, the cops were called. <laughs>